Hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to check the username existed or available or not I'm using PHP coding the database I'm using the remote database of PHP my admin for my SQL server I'm using notepad plus plus to write the PHP code in this PHP code right now I have only a simple HTML code which contains a header tags h1 and h2 let's save this file and we'll check the designing part how it looks on the browser and here is the output of that designing part let's get back to the coding part between the center tags in the body username I'm adding input type text name is equals to username as well as id username also and placeholder enter username and i am adding the required after break create a span id is equals to username loading close the span tag and another span tag to display the results I close this span tag also let's save this file I will check the output on the browser after adding input text box and span tags I'm refreshing the browser and this is the output we got the label username and the input text box with placeholder enter username now we have just finished the designing part now we'll write the code in PHP to check the new username is available or not let's flip back to the coding part create a new PHP file And so this file eval underscore user dot php save the file the php I'm adding the variables hostname username dollar db name which is a database name and the last one is the password here the connection strings which I have providing are my remote database after finish the coding part we will log into my GoDaddy account to collect the PHP my admin connection strings so let me finish this one con is equals to my align underscore connect method takes four parameters one is the host name comma second one is the user name comma and the third one is the database password password and the fourth one is the database name or die connection failed if is set dollar under and and not empty dollar underscore post dollar username is equals to my sqli underscore real escapes underscore string method which takes two parameters the first parameter is dot connection this one this variable and the second one is a dollar underscore post 
between square brackets I'm using the username which is the name and dollar SQL and this SQL variable takes a select statement which I will explain after writing this code dollar result my SQL query method and this results takes that this connection string variable the database connection details and as well as the SQL query so this is not in the code double quotes dollar count is equals to my SQLI underscore num underscore rows which takes a parameter of this variable result now if dollar count is greater than zero If the user exists, it will display div style is equals to color red. Bold dot this user name I'm entering at the dollar dot close the bold tag and close the div tag there is not available else let's copy this if count is equal to zero so which means it will display it's available sorry it's available up to here we have finished the coding part but the main thing is we need to collect the host name username database password and as well as the, the table and column name for that let's log into my godaddy php my admin database I'm signing to my GoDaddy account. I'm just logging into my account of PHP My Admin. The first one is a host name, which is a database server. I'm copying this. I'm pasting the host name, which is IP address here. Here the username and password for the demo purpose. I'm using the dummy ones dummy username and the password at the time of uploading this page into my remote server I will change into my real credentials just for the security reasons I have provided the username and password the dummy ones let's flip back to the database and we'll collect the database name and the next one I am taking the database name here mysql db copy it and here is the database name is mysql db after adding mysql db we need the sql query also for that we need the table name and the column name which is a username column expand the mysql db browse the students table the table i'm using students and this students table contains six rows let's write the select statement in sql select start from students table where student name is equals to between single quotes dollar username now 
now the coding part has done let's save this file let's go to index.php we'll add the jquery file here i'm adding the javascript file of jquery which is very important script close the script type text slash javascript dollar document dot ready function method closes dollar between the single quotes we need the input text box id it must be in the hash dot p up function dollar dot post and between the double quotes we need to add this ol underscore user dot php file name so avail underscore user dot php comma username colon dollar between the single quotes we need the value of this input text box is also hash dot value val comma function response hash we need the username result copy here dot fade out method set timeout close ajax which takes two parameters this id here colon again double quotes yes escape escape response and i'm adding 350 that return false and uh, let me check this this brackets are a little bit confused yeah this one for this one let's delete this function user result user result id response dollar between the single quotes i'm adding the username loading id span id i want to hide this span dollar between the single quotes hash plus id dot html and escape escape response dollar 
hash plus id dot filled in is height capital that's it let's save the file now it's time to check the final output on the browser now I'm reloading the page now here the username I'm entering Mohit Mohit is not available let's check the table is Mohit available or not see here the Mohit available let's check the other one which is not available in this table the username Charan Charan is available that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos